what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to repair a yellow light of death on a fat PS3 now I got this PS3 free so I saw it online and the person was giving it away because it had the yellow light of death I contacted the person the person says yeah come and pick it up so here is the PS3 it's a let's see if I can show you guys the model number not sure if you guys can see that but it is a e01 model number that's the model number e01 and it's also um compact backwards compatibility it has backwards compatibility and everything it has the four usb ports and all of that let me see if i can turn it around the warranty sticker is still there it has not been removed there's not too many scratches on it so the ps3 is in really good condition um the yellow light of death mostly happens with the fat ps3s it doesn't really happen that often with the slims or the super slim so only the fat has that problem so you're going to be needing a heat gun you're also going to need um, alcohol to remove the thermal paste and some paper towel you will need your screwdrivers and your security bit screwdriver I don't know if you guys can see that let me just pop it out yeah you will will be needing this guy right here for the security screw all right and you also will be needing some thermal paste to replace the old one when we're done so let me go ahead guys and power it on show you guys that it has the yellow light hope you guys can see there is the red light that means the ps3 is off green yellow then it turns right off and it keeps flashing let me do that one more time to show you guys bring it a little bit closer there you go all right so let's go ahead take the top cover off and um, disassemble the old ps3 go straight down to the motherboard okay guys so I am back and as you can see I removed the old thermal paste from both of the chip the CPU as well has been cleaned so what we're gonna do from right here we're gonna be using the eat gun from now on so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this um, you need a piece of board I'm using this piece of board right here just to ice the motherboard off the table just like that and you're gonna use the heat gun now so you're gonna keep the heat gun on low keep it on low if you have one that says high medium low keep it on low and you want to keep the heat gun over each chip for like um, a minute okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm, ju I'm just gonna pour it on to low and then I'm going to keep it on the chip, one of the chip first for a minute and then switch over to the other chip. Okay, so once that's done, all you have to do is, once that's done, all you have to do is just wait for the chips to be cooled down by room temperature and then we can go ahead and assemble back the motherboard with the ps3 and everything so let's just wait until it cools down by room temperature and then we will um, assemble everything up again okay guys so the motherboard has now cooled down to room temperature so we can now go ahead and add new thermal paste and assemble everything back up so I'm just gonna go ahead right now and 
add some new thermal paste Okay, so let's assemble back the motherboard with this cover. Okay guys, so this is the furthest I'm going to assemble the PS3. I'm just doing it like this just to show you guys that it actually works now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and plug the power cable in. So here is the power cable. Go ahead, plug it in. Now let's try and power on the system. Wait. Okay, so there we go. We have a red light. So let's try to power on the system. And there you go guys it's not powering off that's good so let's just go ahead and get the HDMI plug it in and let's see if there's anything showing up all right so we have something now on the on the screen let me just try and get it over there on the screen not sure if you guys can see that properly so let me show you guys again let me show you guys let me just pour it off there it is look there's nothing on the screen let's go back here is the power card I plugged in. Hope you guys can see that. Here is the power card right here. Let me go ahead and plug it in. Hope you guys can see that right there. There is the red light. Let's just go ahead and press right here. Let me see if I can show you guys the screen at the same time. Wait a minute, let me just take the camera off. Okay, so there it is. It, there is the PS3. And there is the screen right here on my computer. There it is. I had to fix the HDMI card. Seems like the HDMI card is giving problems. So let me just go ahead and bring this up bigger so you guys can see. There it is. There is a PS3, that's how it done guys. Let me go ahead and power it off again. Take a look on the screen at the same time. There you go. It's off. It's gonna flash the green light for a couple seconds, then turn to red. There it is. There's nothing on the screen anymore. Go ahead and power it back on. There it is. So I hope this 
so guys if the video was helpful please give it a like a share and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video